Endless OS, a operating system that tends to have everything in it, including the ship, the dock, and the materials. So what do I mean? Well, we go to Endless's website. Sorry, folks, for those who don't like looking at websites, feel free to skip ahead. Uh, you'll see that they are quite established when it comes to the Endless OS Foundation talking about having a pay-to-go model for the endless laptops and of course having a, a, a place where learners can explore dozens of educational resources and of course where everything has been specifically curated to extend uh, learning and of course they have got their own uh, personal mission that they've got ongoing and their programs for some places around the world uh, and one of the things about uh, Endless OS, of course, is it's meant to have quite a bit of software in it that is not actually, well, how do I phrase this? It's meant to have software in it so you don't have to go and keep downloading it, right? So it's basically meant you install it on a machine, you run it from a machine, and you have Endless get it, access to applications. So... The ISO file is actually quite large. Uh, it comes in at a wafty 80 gigs. So I thought, you know what? Uh, I'm going to test Endless OS and let's take a look at it today. Okay, so here we are. Uh, as it stands, the screen after you boot it. So I'm just going to say next. And here it's going to give us the option do we want to try it by running it from the USB stick or do we want to install it? So I'm going to just hit reformat option. And we're going to reformat with this in this OS 5 uh, to this disk here, my VMware disk. And let it install. Okay, that was pretty quick. So let's uh, power off. So a bit more about endless OS. Endless OS is root file system is read only. So in theory, you can't really make uh, breaking changes to the system which makes sense if you're going to send it out into the world, not knowing who's going to be using it, as well as it is, of course, based on Debian. Okay, so we've just installed it. This is our first welcome screen. I'm going to keep this here. English US is fine. And a terms of service. Okay, I'm going to accept it. I'll switch location services off because why not? Skip. Gosh. I'll set a password. A really strong password. And let's start using Endless. Okay, let's not take the tour. And here we have Endless OS out of the box. So, of course, it's running GNOME. And let's see what versions. Okay, so of course, Endless OS 5. And we are running GNOME 41.3 under Wayland. A couple of default uh, extensions have been uh, installed here to make uh, GNOME a bit more human accessible, especially for uh, new users. So minimize, maximize, and exit. All out of the box. Okay, so taking a look at this here, this OS, of course, comes with a ton of software and again the reason for this is it's also meant to be used somewhere where uh, you might not have stable or any internet access so let's take a look at some of its apps here but i think let's be fair and before we do that let's uh, try to update it so i'm going to open up app center any software you install or remove from this system you have to use the uh, software catalog will be app center since it is a read only on the root drive okay so this app of course explaining what the system is uh to you what a kernel is uh breaking down what dev null is really uh great for users who are unfamiliar um, of what each item is. So you can see here the kernel, cursor, 
uh, they've now file systems, memory management, etc. So that's a great uh, way to teach folks. And of course, that's from the system application over here. Then there's something called hack. Okay. It's a clubhouse. Yeah. Okay, it's a homegrown earthquake. Uh, okay, it's a PDF document. Oh, this is great uh, education material here. So, showing obviously for kids um, how to build uh, this type of stuff. I want to simulate how we're earthquakes. Um, pretty awesome, actually. I'm just clicking on some things of games. So let's say Robots and Pets, and you want to play that. And you've got a new game called Sidetrack. Okay, so we'll look at that later. And then this is back to the clubhouse and pathways. And I click on the operating system, and I click on the command line. And I say play. Okay, she'll be teaching me about the terminal. Explaining the file system and the prompts. Um, how to look around. It's a really great way of uh, introducing uh, kids to the system, really. Um, okay, so the system manager popped up here in the middle. And of course, looking at about software. No project 43.3. Interesting. And if we update preferences, we get notifications. So if I go updates here, uh, it's first uh, doing quite a lot of updates with applications. And there is the option to download for endless OS. So I'm going to download uh, all of these in the background. Well, that's carrying on though. We can take a look at some of these other applications. So there's Sidetrack. Okay. Ooh. And she can run and jump. Okay, I have no clue how that game works. I'm just gonna close that and chain. Uh then there's play, so whole loads of applications for kids, tax typing, tax math. Uh actually I always wonder what tax math is. Play and learn on your own. Okay, play alone. I'll just play an arcade game. I'll be a space cadet. How, how, how do I do this anyway? Do I just type in on my keyboard? No, really, I have no clue how this works. Oh, uh, okay. You type the number and then you press spacebar. Woohoo! I know that 5 plus 5 is 10. Then 0 plus 4 is 4. Yes, do not be amazed at these math skills. Okay, folks, that's actually a pretty fun game. I'm in the Hall of Fame. Gosh, great. Okay, so obviously another application here uh, meant for... Uh, kids um, and you'll see here I mean there's a lot of others as well frog squish missile math numpty physics I wish this existed when I was a kid uh, tank warriors oh I made with a unity engine I want to uh, I will refrain from saying something sarcastic about uh, the unity engine after <coughs> unity's recent uh, troubles a single player campaign. Welcome to Tank Warrior. Woohoo! My first rule is to move my tank. I can do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at the tank go. In the wrong direction. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, I guess I missed some. Hey, yeah, okay, performance isn't the best. Uh, I'll probably have to add proper drivers to this. By the way, in case you didn't know, um, NS always has the in video drivers pre-installed as well. Uh, moving away from the games, yes, yeah, so there's uh, work apps, so LibreOffice, uh, coding education apps, uh, so simple scratch. Right, uh, teaching kids and youngsters on how to do uh, programming. Uh, an encyclopedia. Explaining, of course, uh, different topics. So even if I was to do PowerPC, right. So you might say, oh, why have an encyclopedia included? Well, remember, this is a part of the world where there isn't internet. Or is it stable internet? So I really think it's fantastic with this type of software of what uh, they're trying to cover. Because you can imagine this going to uh, schools or families where, you know, you, you need to learn the basics of certain things. And here, you know, the system can provide it to you out of the box. Uh, different applications, so I'll do birds and just uh, Atlantic Canary. Ah, sweet. And of course, giving information specifically on animals, another encyclopedia application. Okay, Myths and Legends. I guess it's going to be the same thing, so let's uh, choose Classic Myths and Legends, uh, Anubis, and it gives you quite a bit of information stretched to fingertips. That is it's a fantastic way of doing this. Uh, health, I guess it's going to teach you how to do first aid. And yeah, you know, and you can print these articles, you can save these articles if you need to, um, to provide it to someone. So it's not just really only for kids. Uh, there's some stuff for youngsters as well. And um, if you need to learn some stuff about health, um, avoiding gum disease problems, right? Really information is uh, easily inaccessible. I'm absolutely blown away by this. Science snacks. Ge geezer, or some folks might call it a geyser. Talking about how to assemble these. Cool. Uh, system is still updating in the background. Uh, what haven't we looked at? Uh, resume. So even something as simple as how to have a resume templates or a CD, as other parts of the world might call it. Um, you know, there's some folks don't know how to do this. I haven't been taught or haven't been shown Libra Office, and you can actually see this uses Flatpak apps, which makes sense considering it's um, close of fruit. So that's awesome. And you know, stuff like this just goes to show you um, even a how-to guide. You know, a, a system such as this really goes to show you what wonderful open source and free software and solutions are out there. You know, some of these things you don't see every day and might take it for, might take it for granted, but I think that's just... It's absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, everything from healthcare, dental care, science, how to become a DJ, um, all of these applications pre, pre built in here. So you don't really need to worry about having to download anything, which is the idea of this, uh, how to do budgets, right? 
even as templates for goodness. Um, and again, all the stuff built in using LibreOffice Calc, using the stuff that's available, all fits nicely. It's just, yeah, I can see this being used in a really a low cost of uh, uh, communities and places. And I'm just, I think it's absolutely awesome. So who is this for? Well, of course this, you know, if you setting up for certain uh, environments, possibly uh, when you know you want a, a station where folks can learn uh, on different topics, maybe even learn the basics of coding, uh, basics of travel, um, you know, basics of how machines work, but you don't have a stable internet or spotty internet, uh, or it's part of the world where, you know, this information isn't easily accessible for whatever reason. I can see why this is used and think in those type of situations in a classroom setup, absolutely awesome. And of course, the best part about it is there's no licenses. So you don't have to worry about paying a company a license in order to use this. Uh, if any license inspectors come, you don't need to worry about that. You can use it openly, freely. And you're teaching people about all range of topics, even how to set up budgets and resumes. And included on that, it's using existing software like LibreOffice uh, to teach additional skills out there that folks might uh, not have used yet. Um, system, of course, as I mentioned, it's based on Debian Linux, as well as it has a uh, flat pack of applications and is completely and utterly free. So, yeah, good example of the power and beauty of open source and Linux can provide. Folks, if you've used this or know of someone that does or have suggestions, um, please put them in comments. I said just going to take a look at the website as well. And they do offer custom uh, solutions as well for certain parts of the world. So yeah, folks, always thanks for watching and bye for now.